friends, I hope everyone had an amazing Thanksgiving. Before we really get into the video, I just want to give you one final notice that the Cuts Black Friday sale is ending in the next few days. So if you want to save 30% on the hoodies, the joggers, any of the Cuts clothing you see me wearing, hit the description, click on the link, and save 30% makes a perfect gift. And obviously, it looks great. Does it look amazing? It does. So we just came to brunch. We came to a place called Sir Walter's, which is one of our favorite restaurants ever. I don't even know if they're open. There's never anybody here, which is another great thing about it. But amazing coffee, amazing food. You should definitely check it out if you live in Raleigh. So besides Summer Moon in Austin, Texas, this is probably the best latte I've ever had. Of course, camera wife turning up over here with some mimosa action, just trying to get hammered before we start the day. And if you ever do get the privilege of coming here, I highly recommend the breakfast sandwich with the sweet potato tots. These are absolutely necessary. They've somehow perfected these things. I wish I could figure out how they did it, but this is a 10 out of 10 meal for sure. So let's talk about the topic of today's video because I was actually surprised and I learned something new by reading this study. I think it was completed in 2020, but I've seen a few people post about it online. And that is on average, Americans gain between one and five pounds every year during the holidays that they never end up taking off. And when I read that, I realized I was a little bit loose with my suggestions and recommendations over the past few years, and that is just enjoy it, don't worry about it, you'll be fine, you'll get back to normal, assuming that everyone was kind of like me, and if they did put on some weight, they would just lose it in January, February, and get back to where they used to be. But according to the data, that's not actually the norm, and it's caused long-term obesity issues and a lot of ongoing health problems for a lot of different individuals, so I think that's really something that we need to address. Now, that is not not to say that I think you shouldn't eat good foods during the holidays, go out, enjoy it with your family because I think that's a big part of life in general and I don't think you should have to miss out on all of that. What I am saying is I think we should all be taking a smarter approach, myself included, to make sure that we're not doing any long-term damage and if you need some help getting rid of any of the excess food, this little guy will absolutely be there for you. So we're going to break this down into two different categories, what we can do now versus what we can do after the holidays and that will come in January where we can make a video on that. We're not really gonna pay too much attention there, but what can we do now? It is the day after Thanksgiving. We haven't even gotten into Christmas yet. As we all know, for the next 30 days, there's gonna be a lot of delicious foods surrounding us. And we don't wanna to have to cut those out completely, but how do we mitigate it? The goal is going to be to gain as little weight as possible so that way, one, hopefully you don't have any weight to lose, or if you maybe go a little bit too overboard, then you don't have that much work to do in the later months. Sound like a good plan, buddy? Too many days in the darkness. So one of the most important things you can focus on is moving. With the extra food is going to require a little bit more of movement, so I would recommend whatever your baseline is, just add an extra two to 3,000 steps in addition to that. So if you're already at 10, get 12. If you're already at eight, get 10. If you're like me and someone that needs to improve on that, I would really place a high focus and emphasis on this over the next 30 days. So camera wife has decided that she's gonna join the step challenge. What's your goal for the day? You gave me three options. What's that? <laughs> 10,000 steps, a 30-minute Peloton ride, or weightlifting. Get back on the horse. Yeah. No better time to start than that. Why wait to the new year when you can start in December and alleviate a lot of the problems that could be caused by the holidays? Why wait? Little buddy, do you agree? So here's another issue that I often see. We have no chill. We don't always think consciously when it comes to food. We just see great food in front of us and we decide, well, I need all of it. So where sometimes you might see, hey, there's a limited edition cereal. Of course, I have to try it. You know, I'm curious. It's probably pretty delicious. So we might think we need a bowl of this, right? So we proceed to pour ourselves a little bowl just like that, right? No, what we really do is we pour ourselves a bowl a little bit like this and we say, hey, there's a serving of cereal. Oh my gosh, guys. I've never had this before. This is awesome. So if you need to have, you know, a holiday treat, you're in the mood for some marketing, definitely try that. One serving, one serving. I don't think these are gonna help you lose weight or anything, but I love these core shots. They have all different kinds. This is my favorite one, the potency. Just makes me feel a little bit better about myself. And also, if you wanna make yourself a little mimosa action,
And just to show you guys, I'm really gonna be practicing what I preach. I've got about 7,000 steps, which is my normal daily average, but I'm on a mission to get 10,000. So I'm going to strap up, I'm gonna go out and bear the cold weather. I hate the winter time if you guys don't know. This, this Cuts crew neck is an amazing looking shirt, right? It's super stylish, it fits perfect. Of course, the sale is still going on as I told you earlier, but it's not gonna keep me that warm. So I'm gonna need to bring in some reinforcement. Thankfully, Cuts has something for every different occasion. So this insulated vest is probably one of my favorite items they've ever come out with. It's super stylish, I love the way it looks. and it really really does keep you warm, at least on the torso. The issue that I'm gonna have now is my arms are gonna be cold. We do have the Cuts Bomber Jacket that I can just throw on on top of this. I swear this is not any kind of product placement, guys. You guys know I don't like to sell products on my channel, but just take a look. All of this head to toe and cuts. Now I can finally achieve my fitness goals. It really all comes back full circle. All right, so tonight we are gonna be making some cauliflower ganache. So check this out. This is a lower calorie pasta dish that still tastes awesome. We picked this stuff up from Trader Joe's. Absolutely love it, just with some lean ground meat and some pasta sauce. And then we just make garlic bread using some white butter and some garlic seasoning. And there you have a nice, perfect dinner. We can still have memorable holiday experiences eating delicious foods mm -hmm. and it doesn't all have to be you know sugar and and all that craziness all right we got a christmas tree we're festive <laughs> shout out New day, new cuts hoodie. Let me take you guys through a quick grocery haul as we're trying to make sure we only keep high quality foods in the house because we know inevitably some sugar and some treats are gonna make their way into the home. So I got some organic chicken thighs. This is my favorite brand, although it's pretty expensive, so I try to kind of blend it in there so it doesn't get too crazy. We've got some salmon. I love deli meat, I always have. It's super basic, but it always makes for a great sandwich. Then we're gonna have some ground beef some grapes, of course the Vital Farms eggs, the best eggs in the world. I do have a bit of a bagel addiction, I must say. Every day for lunch, what I have is a kale salad. Doesn't sound too great, but after a while it starts to really feel very nourishing and just gives you a lot of energy throughout the day. We've got some broccoli, onion, and then Vital Farms hard boiled eggs just to make my life a little bit easier. Love these Propel Waters, delicious raspberries. And then if you do have a Harris Teeter close by, Sweet potato chunks, what they'll do is they'll cut up the sweet potatoes for you. Doesn't add a whole lot of benefit to me, but it makes camera wife's job much easier. And Saturday morning tradition, egg and cheese bagel sandwich with extra nothing but the aloti seasoning doesn't get much better than this. So the other thing that's gonna be very important, especially over the next month, is going to be training. And one of my biggest recommendations is going to be to put yourself in a muscle gaining phase because you're more than likely going to have excess calories. So I recommend putting them to good use. It's gonna be very challenging over the next month or so to be in a fat loss phase. So if you're gonna intake some good foods, you might as well reap the benefits of doing so in the ways of really pushing yourself in the gym. So we'll talk about programming here in a second, but of course you guys know before I get into any workouts, I have to have my pre-workout concoction, two scoops of prolific, two scoops of high volume. This will help ensure you have amazing workouts. I do not like to train without it. And I will also have my PE Science creatine. You know you can use Travis to save 15% on all of the PE Science supplements, but it really does make life much easier. Week four of Jeff Nippert's Power Building 2.0 program, and so far, I am really enjoying this. One change I made versus last year when I ran the first version is I'm only doing four days per week as far as lifting goes versus five to six days that I did last year. And there's a lot of benefits in my opinion from doing this. I can go into that in a future video if you guys would like, but I'm also using the Peloton one to two times per week. One big recommendation I have for everyone watching this video is find a program right now. Do not wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till next Monday. 
find a program that you can hop on that will help you remain consistent and also build in progress for you. So it doesn't need to be Jeff Nippert's program. It can be something else you find online or if you have a friend that's knowledgeable that can write you something. But ultimately what you want to do is really find something that's going to give you kind of a guideline for where you need to go that's going to push you so you're making progress using those extra calories to build muscle because what a lot of people don't realize is the more muscle you have on your physique, the better you are going to look. What we really want to be able to do is on December 31st, take a look back to the beginning of the month and say quantifiably, we made progress in these categories. We tore down enough muscle tissue. We built up our endurance doing all of these things that's going to help you prevent the amount of fat gain that usually takes place during the holidays. All right, guys, so I'm gonna end the video here soon. Ohio State is playing Michigan. If you don't know, I was born in Ohio, and I don't watch a whole lot of sports, but I feel like during this special game, it's kind of like necessary to watch it and, and just root against Michigan, ultimately. So for the last time, I'm going to remind you, the cuts, 30% off sale, is ending on December 3rd. You have only two more days to go take advantage, whether you're buying gifts for someone or you're like me, and it's all you want to wear. As you can tell, these, these cut shirts are perfectly fitted. It's all that I Wear, whether I'm inside or going out anywhere, Cuts is my favorite brand of all time. So definitely take advantage of that 30% off. It's a huge savings and you can get some amazing shirts at an incredible price. So go to the link, click that link so it supports me. I'd really appreciate that. Get your 30% off and you will thank yourself. That is for sure. So post-workout fuel here, I was going to have my protein hot chocolate. If you guys missed that video, it's one of the best things you can make. All you have to do is warm up some almond milk and then put the protein in there, mix it up. It is super delicious. But instead, what I'm going to be having is a ham sandwich, but not just any ham sandwich. The way Megan makes this is she puts it on the skillet. So it's almost like a grilled cheese without the cheese and add ham. So a grilled ham. I really don't know what it's called, but very low calories and it tastes delicious. Get you a wife that will make you this beautiful sandwich while watching football on a Saturday afternoon? I mean, come on guys. How good do you have it? Can we give the video a like for camera wife? Just take a look at this thing. It is perfection. And that's going to be it guys. So let me know your comments down below. Were you surprised by the negative consequences that the holidays can actually have when it comes to overall body composition and long-term health? I don't think this is something that we need to be worried about, right? I think we still need to just enjoy the holidays, have fun with our friends and our families. But remember, it's just really, you know, two or three days sometimes if you're spending ex time with extended family. So it doesn't need to be, you know, 30 days of just eating like crap. You can really try to balance it out and make sure that you're putting yourself in a good position so that way in January, we're not having to do too much, uh, too much work and really dig deep to get back to where we want to be. But when that time comes, we can make videos on, on what to do and kind of strategies there. If you want to know, let me know in the comments down below. But thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. I mean, you could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I look forward to talking to y'all next time.